And I've got another Canva trainer that I want to show you. And I want to show you how to create what they call a bio link website. Now, uh, if you've gone to my YouTube channel before, I've created a trainer like this very similar about how to create those, um, a bio like um, a link tree kind of thing and you, so that you can put in your Instagram. But Canva did some changes and something didn't work. So now I found a workaround that is even better. And I want to show you guys exactly how to do it step by step. Okay. So this is what we're going to create. Let me show you. We're going to create something very similar to this. And so you will get the link. You'll be able to put it in your bio. When someone clicks on these links right now, these are not linkable. But if someone clicks right now to subscribe to my YouTube channel, it takes them right to my YouTube channel. So this is what I am going to show you how to do step by step. All right. So the first thing that I want to start with is that we are now on the Canva homepage. And to make sure we are grabbing the right template, you want to type in the search. You want to go with bio, go website and find bio link website. So we're going to click here. Okay. And now you got all of these template options here. And you can change, you can, you know, you can pick the one that resonates with you the most. But I'm going to click this one. This is one I started with. All right. And I'm going to do some changes here, but I'm going to increase the size so that you guys can see this. And so I'm going to put my picture here. Typically in a bio link, you want to include a photo of yourself and not a logo because you want people to know exactly who they are in, you know, engaging with. And if they have a logo, they're not sure if they're in the right location. The only time that I would say put a logo if you are some type of retail store, e-commerce or something like that. But most of you who follow me are coaches, and so you're going to be the face of your brand. You should be the face of your brand. So let's find a photo of myself. I think I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to drag it down. Uh -oh. I'm going to double click so I can move it down. There we go. Um, this is not my name, of course, so I'm going to put my name here. Oh. <laughs> Jones. Um, I think the color is green right now, but I'm not. I mean, you guys know how to change colors. You should be able to know how to change colors. And I'll make that bold. And then I'm going to change this one to marketing coach for coaches. And then I think I'm going to keep the background because I like that. Um, this button here. Uh, I'm going to change this to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm going to also put grab my freebie here. And, and you wouldn't say grab my freebie. You might actually, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the actual name saying grab my coaching start, start kit. Uh, I might also put join the club, which is the coaching business simplified. And um, I might say follow me on. That's the right. And I probably would get rid of these. So let me delete, delete the group. And if you can, you know, if you have, if you need to use all of these buttons, that's fine. I'm not. I am going to make this bold. Uh, the ideal is, is so that you guys can know how to do this yourself. Make those bold. All right. So it's time to go to hyperlinking. So when people click on this, it takes them where I want them to go. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to click on the link at the top. So let's give you a little bit more. I'm going to click on the link at the top and I am going to I have my YouTube channel up. So let's hit copy. Let's go back. Hit paste. Then I'm going to hit apply. And then the coaching business starter kit. I don't have that up right now, but I'm going to go to it real quick. Up, And there's that. I'm going to copy that. 
I'm going to close out all of these right here. I hope I'm not closing out the wrong one. And I'm click on the link here. Hit paste and hit apply. And then join the club. I don't have that either up. So right now there's a waiting list to get in. But I still can put that here. So people can join the wait list. I'm going to hit paste. And then uh, to follow me on Instagram, I am just going to put the same button, the same link here. So we won't waste any time. But make sure it's selected. That's the key thing. Make sure both of these are selected, right? So you can group them. If you change anything, just make sure you regroup it and then go up here and link. And the reason why you want it to make sure that the box and the text box both are selected because some people click on different areas so you want to make sure when they click it takes them where they need to go okay so once you've done that you are ready to publish like yeah like it's that easy you're ready to publish so you're going to hit publish as website and you're going to say uh change the web style to scrolling <laughs> And then you want to go and open website, okay? And this is what you have. So this is going to be the link at the top that you can grab. Now, that's a pretty long link. It's a pretty long, ugly link at that. And so what I would do is that I would go to bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y, so that I can get a shorter link. And so I would grab that long link, hit copy, drop it here, hit paste and click shorten and then i'm going to copy the short link and this short link here right is the link that you can actually put in your bio um you can change this and have this a little bit more branded to your brand that might be i think that's an extra cost in bentley but i don't think it's that much but if it doesn't bother you to have this i think you can also go ahead and change it a little bit more um but I'm just showing you how to create your bio link website. But, you know, if you need a shorter link, you probably can definitely um, upgrade this so you can have this a little bit more branded. And then once you've done that, you can actually paste that short link in the URL spot in the browser and it will take you to your website. And here's where people can click. It will take them to their YouTube channel. One of the things that was happening with the old way was that once you clicked on this button, it would say that you are leaving Canva or something like that. Odd. And as you guys can see, once I click on something, it doesn't say I'm leaving to go anywhere. Okay. It takes me exactly, exactly where it needs to go. Okay. Um, the other thing that I want you to be mindful of is, um, as you can see at the top, of this like tab it says green simple um, um the name of this template go ahead and change that name of that template to your name so that that doesn't show up so that that i was a double that did you guys hear music in the background that's not, not supposed to happen that's probably my youtube okay so you want to change the name. I would change it to your your personal name. Um, you can put bio link website at the top. And then republish the website again to make sure that that, is, that that new name has taken place. And as you can see at the tab, it has. And then um, your link, this link should be the same. If not... Then go back to Bentley, create a new shorter link. And if you need to customize it to your brand, do that. Okay. So I think that addresses the question about how to create a bio link website uh, to fix the problems that we were having in the previous training that I did. So this is a new updated training. And I hope that this addresses you guys' question on how to do that, right? This is a fun way, easy way, not to even have a website that you now can get people to go to different places that you want them to go. All right, you guys have an awesome and blessed day, and I'll be talking to you later.